Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. That is English for Grade Three. We are learning Unit Nine. Its title is Domestic Duties and Chores. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, and worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. So, my dear students, today we are going to start. and complete reading and understanding of this beautiful poem before this in english for grade 2 you have already learned to interact with the text and use reading strategies to locate information to answer simple short questions in a word or two remember i hope you remember this how did we do it so we are going to learn further to apply critical thinking to interact with text using intensive reading strategies while reading to locate or scan specific factual information to answer short questions based on the text copy and take dictation of familiar words studied in class these are our today's slos let's start with the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah mentions in quran surah ash-shara words 7 and 8 so When you have finished your duties, then stand up for worship, and to you, to your Lord, turn your attention. Yes, my dear children, but what these beautiful verses are telling us? Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is giving instruction to our beloved Prophet Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. and after him this instruction is for every one of us and what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling him when you have finished your duties which duties your whole day tasks when you are done with your whole day task at night stand up in front of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you know our beloved prophet hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam used to offer tahajjud in the middle of night and he used to offer prayer every day So, inshallah, we should also try. But these are the things, these instructions after our beloved Prophet has said, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam, are for us as well. And the focus for us is after doing your duty. This is not like for the whole day we are sleeping at and at night we are up. No, this is not the way a Muslim lives. So our whole day should be scheduled. In morning we offer fajr, we start our day, then we spend our day. in a scheduled way this is what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching us in quran right and doing our tasks school work as well as little small task at home this is also our duty okay so let's start our lecture now you tell what are the people doing in the pictures below these people what are they doing and what chores do you do at your home chores mean better little domestic tasks the small things which we do every day at home so what do you what chores do you do pause the video answer these questions to your teacher and then come back yes my dear students the clue is there you see this small boy is making his bed and this boy is helping his mama in washing dishes so such type of chores we can do at home we can arrange our cupboard we can place our shoes properly we can place our bag but these are the things which are our duty and you should do it mashallah you can do it now place your toys properly place your shoes and your bag and your uniform and your clothes properly even you can now fold your uniform and your clothes to place in the cupboard right so these are the things you should learn and you should do at home all right now let's see what this poem tells us and before that let's learn better the technique this skill we are going to learn today is scanning and what is scanning scanning is reading scanning in reading is a technique for quickly looking through reading material to locate a particular piece of information a fact a date a name etc so whenever we are asked to okay find the name for example the text you just read what is what was the name of the boy for example you need not to read each and every word you just go to the point and read what was the name just quickly so this technique is known as scanning inshallah we'll practice it today so let's we are going to 
understand the poem as well as we'll scan different information in that all right so the first let's start it from page number 69 from the very really first tensor we are going to learn it this is how we scan like we quickly go through the text and we reach to the exact information this is scan okay so the poet is saying i wash myself and brush my teeth comb my hair and spray beneath this is how a healthy lifestyle is in morning you wake up you wash yourself you take a bath and you brush brush your teeth comb your hair and spray beneath means you just spray some cologne or talcum powder whatever you like i put on some cloths socks and shoes and wonder about the household dues and wonder means like i want to know about something like now i am ready but is there a party thing what i can do household dues and in the morning definitely the first household due the moment you left your bed the first thing is to correct it to make your bed if you are uh, like having a quilt just fold it place the pillow properly and make the bed proper right place your sleeper properly change your cloth and the place cloths properly. this is a bit of the little things which you can do okay so he is doing i do all these household dues when i'm fresh in the morning i say my prayers and also meditate very good so i just make my bed and then i say my prayer i offer my namaz because definitely it's fajr time and also meditate what does meditate but a meditate means to sit quietly for a while and come down and rest a while in a peaceful state so this peaceful state is known as meditation this is how we do it. the way we after offering our fajr we sit on the prayer mat for a time and we just close our eyes and we just this is what meditate is okay i sweep the floor and mop them too so after offering namaz and becoming fresh i sweep the floor means he cleans the floor and mop them too vacuum the carpet and clean the loom and loom is wash them so first he uh, cleans the floor and then he cleans the washroom for you it's it's a little big task so you can help the one who does it at home okay all right so what chores can mention are mentioned in first and second stanza now beta you see this in this question first and second stanza you need not to go to third and fourth so to answer this you will just go to first and second stanza quickly find out what chores have been mentioned there and talk to your teacher. So pause the video, answer this question, and then come back. Yes, my dear students, I hope you answered from these two stanzas. Okay, so let's understand the next one. I have some breakfast in the morning, definitely, and uh, we eat healthy breakfast, like my children are smart, so we eat healthy breakfast, and later on prepare for the evening i check for any mail and bring it all in then consider what to throw in the bin so better this mail is not email the way we uh, take it this mail means such type of mail the letters and the posters sometimes there is advertisement material so what the poet is saying like after that i go i check my mail i find it the good one i keep with me and the extra one I just throw in dustbin. Okay. I read and write about what interests me, means what I like. I read and write. And if necessary, go on a shopping spree. Means I read and write whatever I like. And if there are some important things I need to buy, I go for shopping. I cut the grass and also trim the edges like this, the way this boy is doing. I cut the grass and also trim the edges, clear the dust away from window ledges, the way this boy is doing, right? So, better you see, the poet has mentioned many things. 
the moment he gets up in the morning until the evening all the time he is doing something so this is what we are learning like we should not waste even a single minute like sitting like this and doing nothing we should keep doing and if like we the, the way he is saying at least we can read a book we can do a lot of things so this is what we learned from here now it's your time read the text again and uh, teacher make the students to read it with the proper intonation the way we read a poem and when they are done with the reading you will ask them you can provide them reading material and students will scan factual information so one i brought for you make sure the material should have factual information and students beta i hope you remember we have learned about it factual information means date day place time like the things which are true and we can prove it through the text those are all factual information so one i brought as a model you can teacher you may use the same or you may bring your own material so pause the video make the students to scan the text answer the factual information and then come back yes my dear students are you done with it okay now teacher you may ask these questions and students by scanning technique you have to answer these questions pause the video quickly answer these questions and then come back yes my dear children now it's time once again this question this is even you can do it more quickly do this question in your book and after that here is another activity and that is dictation time now teachers give the time to students for the preparation and when when they are done you may take the dictation pause the video take the dictation and then come back yes my dear children good job today we did a lot so it's time for your homework you will make sentences of these words in your notebooks this is your homework and here is a worksheet my dear fellow teachers this worksheet lesson plan powerpoint presentation links are given you may click it download it and kindly provide a printed worksheet to students for practice so what we have learned today we learn to apply critical thinking to interact with the text using intensive reading strategies while reading to locate or scan specific factual information to answer short questions based on the text copy and take dictation of familiar words studied in the class are we done with it yes so that's it for today tomorrow i'll come again with a very interesting lesson till that time keep learning keep practicing take very good care of yourself thank you and allah